The red planet has always fascinated mankind, but it is a dangerous obsession. To date, over half the missions to Mars have failed. T minus 20 seconds. December 11th, 1998. We have ignition and we have liftoff. We continue to explore the mysteries of the red planet. A Delta II rocket carries NASA's $125 million Mars Climate Orbiter on the first leg of its journey to the red planet. So there's a lot of anticipation that this mission is going to succeed, get an orbit around Mars, and help us understand the global properties of that planet. On September 23rd, nine months after its launch, the probe begins to decelerate as it enters Mars's orbit and disappears behind the red planet. We expect it to be out of communication as it breaks around the far side of the planet. It's a period of nervousness, though. We will all breathe a sigh of relief when we finally hear from it. The team expects the orbiter to be out of contact with mission control for just one hour. But after 90 minutes, there is still no sign of the probe. The probe is dead. No fewer than 15 probes have been lost. They've come from NASA, Russia, China, and the UK. They've all failed. In 1989, the Russian Phobos-2 probe is taking pictures of the Martian surface when, bam, something hits it and it spirals out of control. The Soviet space agency loses all contact with the probe, but not before it beams back the image from its final moments. There's no mistaking it. The image is of a huge cylindrical object about 12 miles long. NASA does not believe the Mars Climate Orbiter's fate is related to any previous incident. After seven weeks of investigation, NASA reveals the cause of the probe's disappearance was human error. The probe's computer guidance system was using US measurements, and the probe was built to work with the metric system. The difference in units meant that the uh, rocket engines fired uh, for too long, the braking was too hard, and the spacecraft dipped too low into the Martian upper atmosphere, and it disintegrated. It wasn't the spacecraft's fault, it was our fault. Somewhere on Mars right now, there are bits and pieces of Mars Climate Orbiter. <laughs>